Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Activities for People Living at Home with Dementia. My name is Gail Snyder. I'm the Executive Director for Dementia Friendly Fort Worth, and we are proud to offer this program with funding from the Area Agency on Aging and United Way of Tarrant County. These programs are recorded and are made available through a YouTube channel for future use by families and communities. And today we are going to play The Price is Right. Brooke Wood, uh, who is with Civitas, is normally our host for this and she is unable to be here today. So I will be leading The Price is Right. Okay. That's the person playing now. All right. Good morning. Good morning Gail. How are you? Good. Sorry, I'm a little tired, a little late. That's okay. We started just a minute or so early because I'm uh, I've got to maneuver a lot of technical stuff today. So I decided I better get started. Okay. All right. Can everybody see my Price is Right screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So before we get started, um, we have a couple of new folks. So let's do a couple of introductions. I've already introduced myself. Nancy, would you introduce yourself? Nancy. Nancy, okay. <laughs> Who's next? I'm Patrick. How about you? Tell me your name. I'm Steve. Hi, I'm Chuck. Chuck. Chuck, we're glad to have you today. Well, delighted to be here today. All right. All right, so we're going to play The Price is Right, and the items we have, we're looking for the price that this item would have been in the 2000s. So the rules of the game are to guess how much the item would have cost in 2000. Be the closest guess without going over the price, and you get a point. And the player with the most points at the end of the game wins. So if your price is close, but it's more than the cost, then you don't get that point. All right? Everybody ready? How much did a gallon of gas cost in 2000? $3.95. Thank yeah. you. Yes. Take a guess. Two fifty. Okay. Take a guess. Two forty. It's in dollars. Okay. Yeah. Hold on just a second. I gotta make my notes. A gallon of cut. How much does a gallon of gas cost? Yeah, the year two thousand. Just guess. And Steve, you said two. I said three ninety five. Three ninety five. Three dollars. Yeah. You have to tell them. Okay, a gallon of gas. How about that? Three dollars. Three dollars. Okay. So we've got Nancy with two forty, Patrick with two fifty, Chuck with three dollars, and Steve with three ninety five. All right. A dollar fifty. Oh my one. God. That's cheaper than it is right now. <laughs> and so nobody gets the point for that game. All right, let's see what we've got next. How much did a Samsung DVD player cost in 2000? I have no idea. <laughs> no idea? 75. Yes. Okay, 75. 90. 90. Chuck? Yeah, I'm guess. Yeah, I think it's 59. Uh, yeah, it's $150. Yeah. And that's $150? We're going with 150 Okay. All right. Let's see what we've got. Whoop. It's a oh. ticket, but it's 147 so, Patrick gets the win for that one. 
What are you talking about? A fun fact, the DVD itself may have been a novel piece of software to the public, but the actual laser disc technology was invented by David Paul Gregg and James Russell in 1958, nearly 40 years before the first DVDs were released to the public. That's kind of strange, isn't it? No, not, not in electronics, it's not. <laughs> Just takes a long time to get uh, standards and things worked out. Yeah, I guess that's true. All right, let's see what our next one is. A Philips 42-inch color TV. Can you all hear us? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is that? I'm going to say 500. You got some weird. Okay. Say 700. Good morning. Do I hear Paulette and Bob? <clears throat> Hold on just a second. Yep, they're there. Okay, I can't see them for some reason. I can't either. Oh, now I do. Okay. I, I would say um, I will guess. Yes, go ahead, tell them. Yeah. I think it's about $700. $700. Yeah. Okay. Nancy, what was your guess? I would guess $350. $350. Okay. Patrick? Uh, 325 And Janine? Paulette and Bob, what do you think a uh, 42 inch TV cost in 2000? I'm saying 550. 550. Okay, Paulette. What? 500. We're okay now. We just now got sound. Okay, so you're. Giving us the price that you think a 42 inch color TV costs in the year 2000. Oh. Any I, ideas? Oh, oh, that was your video. That was your uh, screen about the Samsung? Yes. I'm sorry. I, okay. We thought, I look like somebody's ad. It's, we're playing the price is right. Oh, okay. Well, okay, let me get it down here. <laughs> I'm going to. So, we had a call from our daughter right there. Okay. So, how much do you think that might cost in two thousand? What was it again? It's this one right here. A forty-two inch Samsung TV. Oh, I don't know. A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. All right. So, for those of you who just joined us, I would say three thousand. The person who gets the closest to the price without going over gets the point. And so far, the only person who has a point is Patrick. All right, let's see what it says. Oh, wow. $99. Wow. <laughs> According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, Prices for televisions were 99.13% lower in 2020 versus 1950, a 297.40 difference in the value. So let's see. So I guess Paulette gets the win on that one. Whoa. $1,000. <laughs> Whoa. All right. I'll take it. <laughs> Guess the correct order of numbers for the price of the Jeep Wrangler. So in this one, the numbers are provided and you have to put them in the right order to come up with the price. And this time, let me call out the name for you to make your guess so we, it won't be too confusing. Steve, what's your Is it a, But it's the 2005? model versus 2000? Yes, because it's for the whole decade. In the decade of the 2000s, between 2000 and 2010. 
Liz, at five years oh, old. What do you think, Chuck? We need to go outside. Okay, I'm going to say 7,563. Okay, you're missing a number. You have to use all the numbers. So 7, 5, 6, 3, 2. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Nancy. Yeah, I need some time. Okay. Patrick? I'll see the five. Um, We're say those numbers. numbers. Okay. Two, 27,000. 563. Okay. No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait. Five number there. There's five numbers there. Okay, can you read that? My screen. All right, how about uh, just read them in order? 36725. Okay. Uh, Nancy, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Eight twenty-seven thousand. Eight twenty-seven thousand. Okay, um, you're missing a couple of numbers. You need to use all five of those numbers, numbers right to come up with the right price. Well, you got four Are you talking to me? Yes. <laughs> I'm really lost. You see those five numbers on in the gray box? Okay. Pick, well, pick all those numbers in the order that you think the price of that Jeep would be. Sixty-five thousand two hundred and thirty-seven. Okay. Uh, Paulette. All right. Twenty-six seven five three. Okay. And Janine. Thirty-two six seventy-five. All right. Wow, that's amazing. Nobody got the same number. All right, let's see what we've got. Mm -hmm. Ooh, seven. Seven, three, sixty-five. Want some more? Uh, looks like Paulette is the winner again <laughs> because she guessed twenty-six seven fifty-three. How much it would cost in 2005. Okay. Now let's go to our next one. And I have to get a bigger piece of paper. That, that is so funny. I almost said that number. Wait, I never right. know what stuff costs. I, yeah, now, has anybody ever owned a Jeep like this? No. 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 Okay, a fun fact about this is... A Marine Corps Jeep that was the first to land on Guadalcanal and one of the first on Bougainville received a retirement order and a Purple Heart for bullet holes in its windshield. <laughs> hmm. All right. How much did a gallon of milk cost? Oh. Uh oh. Oh, we got it. Oh. Two dollars and ninety cents. <laughs> Two dollars ninety cents. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> Man, I messed that one up. It's gonna be a fun one too. That's all right. I would have been over. All right, but there is a fun fact about the gallon of milk. Cows eat about a thousand pounds of food every day, and drink fifty gallons of water. Doesn't that say a hundred pounds? Hundred pounds. A thousand. Oh, I guess I can't read today. A hundred pounds of food and 50, 50 gallons of water. That's wow. A lot. Well, don't they have three stomachs? Uh, yes, they do. <laughs> yep. It's a lot of water. It is a lot of water. All right. How much did a Weber grill, a Weber Q grill cost in 2000? No idea. Two seventy-five. Two seventy-five. Okay, who's next? Two three twenty-five. Yeah. How much, Nancy? Three twenty-five. Three twenty-five. Okay, Chuck. Yeah. Two hundred and fifty. Two hundred and fifty. Uh, Paulette. 
Um, 289. Patrick. 299. And Janine. 349. 349. All right. And the answer is 265, which means Chuck. Hey, we got a point. For this one. Got a point. Yay. Yay. Was two fifty and the cost was two sixty five. Cool. And our fun fact is seventy five percent of U.S. adults own a grill or a smoker. It used to be a male dominated demographic, but <laughs> women are increasing their grill cooking. Men hold about fifty one percent of the grill time while women are fast approaching at 49%. I don't own a grill. Never ha Well, yeah, I have. I have owned one, but I've never cooked on one. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> well, we have one, but I usually try to get somebody else to do the grilling. All right. Well, my most a four-letter word. How much did a U.S. postage stamp cost in 2001? I want to go first. Okay, Janine? 39 cents. 39 cents. Oh, gosh. 41. 41 cents. Chuck? What do you think? A stamp. Why don't you say that? 37 cents. 37 cents. 37 cents. Okay. Paulette. Uh, 20 cents. Patrick. 38. And Nancy. Uh, 42 cents. 42 cents. All right. 34 cents. Oh, so 20 so, got it. So Paulette wins again because she yes. gets 20 cents. We all went over except for Paulette. All right. Fun fact, the most popular U.S. postage stamp sold over 120 million copies. It was the 1993 stamp of rock singer Elvis Presley, the only country to print stamps without its name on them is Great Britain. Anybody stamp do stamp collecting? No? No. My kids did coin collecting for a while when they brought out all those state quarters. Yeah. I did too, but I didn't even, I didn't get all the states. <laughs> yeah, my kids didn't either. All right. How much did the first iPod, or the iPod cost in 2001? It was first launched on October 23rd of 2001. Well, 2000s are not my time frame. I can't remember what things were in 2000, but I'll try. <laughs> All right. Who's going to go first? 149. 149. Okay. 200. Patrick? 159. And Nancy, did you say 200? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Chuck? Yeah, yeah, three hundred. Three hundred. Uh, Paulette. Two twenty-five. And Janine. Three forty-nine. Wait, three. what was the highest one? Uh, three hundred. I don't want to be mean. I guess I'll say three twenty-five. I was going to say 301, but <laughs> okay. I'll be nice. <laughs> All right. Let's see what the answer is. 
which makes Janine the winner. The very first iPod launched with 1,000 songs in your pocket. It had five gigabytes of storage space, weighed 6.5 ounces, and featured a 160 by 128 pixel display and firewire connectivity. Did anybody have one of those? My I husband did. did. I did at one point. You Don't have any more. Yeah. Okay. And Janine, y'all had one? John did, yeah. I don't think my kids had this first one, but they did have one a little later than that. John used to have a Sony Walkman that he walked around with all the time. Yeah. Oh, I've forgotten about Walkman. Okay. How much did the 35 piece Craftsman screwdriver set cost? Yeah. And when? Uh, 2000. In the 2000s. So let's just say 2000. <laughs> These um, prices and pictures are for the decade of the 2000s, before 2010. Save that. Nine. Nine hundred nine thousand. Nine thousand. Wait a minute. Yeah. Forget it. I want one of the men to guess first. Thirty-nine ninety-five. Nine ninety-five. Thirty. Thirty. Thirty-nine ninety-five. Okay. Chuck, you have a guess. Hey, hang on a second. All right. Anybody else ready? $99. $99. All right, Nancy? $45 right there. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. All right, this is Chuck. $45. $45. Steve. Oh, that's what I was going to uh, do. $45? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Janine, what do you want to guess? Um... Thirty-four ninety-nine, like three thousand four hundred ninety-nine. Say it again. Three thousand. Wait, did somebody already say thirty-five hundred? I don't want thirty-four no, ninety-nine. That would be thirty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, it's a Craftsman screwdriver set. Okay. Um. I'll say a hundred and one dollars. Okay. Steve? Nine. Say it again. Sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. My sound cut out a minute and I didn't hear the six. Paulette, what's your guess? Uh I had a number in mind and I forgot it, so let's just go with um 55. 55. All right. 49.99. Oh, I might have that. that means that Chuck is the winner at $45. Hey, we got one. Hey. Hey. Uh, did anybody own one of those, a set that looked like that? Not a complete set. Not a complete set, but you had some of them. Yep. Anybody else? Okay. So a fun fact. While it's unknown who invented the screwdriver, archaeological evidence shows that they have been around since the Middle Ages. There are examples of screwdrivers being used in both Germany and France during the 15th century. Whoa. Since then... Screwdrivers have found their way into nearly every country. How much did a digital camera cost in 2006? $249. $249. Okay. So what do we guess next? $49. $49. Three hundred. Oh, three hundred and forty-nine. Okay. 
What, what, what was that number? 349 and 249 are the guesses we have so far. I'll do this. Yeah. I'll go with 149. Okay, 149. Chuck, what's your guess? Right. Yeah, uh, this is Chuck. 375. 375. Steve? I'm going 376. 376. And Paulette? 374. <laughs> okay. No. I think you're all going to be surprised. Yeah, I think we are too. Well, it depends on the kind of camera. Oh. 179. Does anybody go under that? Patrick is the winner for that one. Yay. He has 149. Cool. The largest camera collection consists of 4,425 cameras. Whoa. The reason I said 249 is because my husband bought me a digital camera in 2006 for $249. Okay. <laughs> well, I know that, that price varies based on the brand and all that. Right. Stuff. Yeah. And I should have remembered that because he got the, the top of the line. Right. All right. Let's see what we have next. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's a winner, so let me tally up the results and see who won the most. Not me. <laughs> Paulette. No, I didn't. <laughs> Paulette or Chuck? Let's see. Let's listen. Let's see. Let's see. Or, um, yeah. She's telling us, hold on. Paulette is the grand winner. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> Patrick has two. Chuck has two. And Janine has one. Oh, I won one? I forgot. Yes. You won, um, what was it? The, the I, price you gave for the one you won was three twenty five, but I don't remember which item it was. Uh, <laughs> How many did I get right? You got three. Ah, okay. All right. Well, that was a lot of fun, and a few fun facts about some some things that we most of us still use some of them today. Nobody probably still has the iPod because that's part of our phones now. Yeah. Cameras. I use cameras. Yeah, and you, everybody probably still use, uses a camera. Some of them are separate from our phones, and some of them are cameras on our phone. I used you to know, have a dark room, and I used to print my own photos. And Oh, God, I, was, I loved it. I wanted to be another Dorothea Lang. <laughs> so, you know, Janine, did you have something you wanted to say? Yeah, I I own two digital cameras, but I wind up using my phone to take pictures with most of the time. <laughs> yeah. It's more convenient, right? Yep. That's yeah. right there with you. Uh-huh. Well, tomorrow we have Texas Winds with us. Yay. Sentimental Journey with saxophone and piano music. Ooh, I love saxophone. My favorites, that's the instrument that my daughter plays. So that'll be tomorrow at 10.30. Okay. All right. Sounds hey. good. Yep. Thank, thank you. you. All right, y'all have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. All right, thank you. Thank you. you got it off to a wonderful start. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.